We started our rotation of grazing last night about 9.30 or 10 o'clock. Got this hot wire fence put up and the cows are over here in grass and I'm sure they appreciate it. They've been in a feedlot for a couple days and they did not get fed this morning. And I guess unless we have a drought or something like that, they probably won't get fed again until this fall when they start calving out. That's what I wanna to talk to you about today. If you drive by a cow pasture or a cow herd and you see these orange stickers right here, look on her rear end, see that? And you see these orange stickers on their backs. Like that right there, see that? You might wonder what that is. Well, that is called an estromate patch. No, no, no. Estrotech patch. Estromate's the medicine. <clears throat> it's an estrotech patch. And what that is, that's a indicator of whether the cow is in heat or not. So if you breed a cow, and it has a little baby like this right here, and you want to know whenever it comes back into heat to be bred again, You'll take and put you on a Astrotech patch and it will let you know whether or not the cow's in heat. Or if you want to AI your cattle like we do all of ours, then you put you on an Astrotech patch. If you know about your regular heat cycle, you know what naturally what it is and you can catch the cow in heat and you can breed it. That's what, why they're on there now. We, we had a natural heat cycle on some of these cows that were unbred and uh, they uh, they were bred. We didn't pull the patches off of all of them. And if you look, there's one right there in the middle of the screen. See the, the black cow on the left and then the red cow on the right. The Hereford right there is completely orange that cow came into heat. Now that other one, see that right there? That cow came into heat. But look at this Angus cow. See how that's just scratched up? Now it's possible that she came into heat, but I don't think that she did. That's probably where she's rubbed on a tree and leaned, or maybe one of these other ones that came into heat jumped up on her just playing around or something. Or maybe they were just playing, nobody was in heat. Like a thousand four. We think a thousand four is bread. Look at it right here. See that? Now, why do I care? Well, like I said, you might have an AI program. We have a, um, a herd without a bull. We have no bull on our farm. How do we breed our cows? Well, we AI them. The advantages of not having a bull are you don't have to feed it all year long, number one. And number two, instead of having the same sire for every animal, with a herd as small as ours, we can pick the very best genetics in the country that people will allow you to get. And we can have that progeny. I say that people allow you to get, you know, if you've got the very best, you're probably not gonna sell it or, or something like that, you know, or ask a zillion dollars for a straw semen. But the point is you have a lot better options when it comes to breeding if you AI everything. There's a cost associated with it, but something to consider is if you have a bull and you gotta keep him up and mess with him and all the pain that there is associated with the bull, just pushing on stuff and just all the stuff, then it's probably worth it to AI to spend that little bit of extra money. Now think about this. If you spend $2,500 on a good bull, okay, you can get a good entry level bull for $2,500. How much semen and vet bills, vet tech bills, can you cover to AI your cattle and have really, really good calves? then you can hold back a bull if you really want a bull. Just a thought.
that's that's what we do actually no we don't hold anything back we've got some some uh, bull calves that are pretty good i think and we'll end up selling those because we're not going to keep a bull in this place we'll probably collect semen off of uh, some of them maybe all of them i guess and hold them back hold back those straws of semen and sell the bulls and that makes sense for some people that makes sense if you've got 40 or 50 or 60 or 100 or 300 head of mama cows you don't want to ai that many that'd get astronomical so it's a game of scales really it's been my experience It has been my experience. Oh, Petunia's darkening up. She used to be a lot, lot lighter. Didn't you, Miss Tunia? Oh, wait, you know what? That's why it's because it's Magnolia. It's not even the right cow. And something else you can do right here, her. I don't know if she's bred or not, because she's about halfway orange and halfway, halfway not scratched off. You can make your cool decisions on there, whether you want to keep an animal or get rid of an animal. I'm about 50-50 on her. I don't know if we're going to sell her or, or keep her. She thinks I've got feed because I'm carrying around this trash. But it's not feed, oh girl. It's not feed. Two ninety five. Why have you got an orange patch? Hmm. I thought you were bred already. Maybe we forgot to get your sticker off. I have to go back and look at my notes. Anyways, there's some there's the reason that you might drive past a pasture and see a bunch of cows with orange stickers on their tail heads. And some reasons why you might AI you stuff. Maybe you've already done it for a long time. Maybe this video doesn't help you any. Well, maybe the next one will. So still hit that subscribe button. I'll look forward to seeing you here tomorrow. God bless y'all. Have a great day.